mini boss time. Prepare your headgear, comrades. This is gonna hurt. He comes in the form of advanced selection. War cry to the battlefield. Now, where is this mini boss? Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh sh not one boss, but many bosses in one. These little sprites will be easy to convert to our cause, however. Let's convert them. Ding. Remember kids, using cheat codes isn't really cheating, it's adapting and overcoming. Now that they are our friends, we need to train them. But this training needs a bit of butt kicking. First off, face marks. What the beast is this? Smack in the middle of our selection by option. Surely it isn't a scar. Well, frankly, it is the most unused feature in freestyle. It is very limited to selected and not selected. It has include and exclude, one face and both faces. With include and exclude, you can add or subtract the marked faces from being drawn. With one face, your lines get drawn around your selection, including the border of the face marks. Both faces, aka two-face, as the name implies, is a little sneaky. Two-Face will only draw lines inside the selection, and that is all there is to it. Two-Face down, next part. Now, I am going to assume that you know how to use object grouping in Blender, but here's a refresher just in case. We can select an object or multiple objects and then simply hit Control G. If the tool panel is open, we can immediately name this newly formed group. Otherwise, an advanced tip here, Hit F6 immediately, and you get this magic pop-up that allows you to rename your group. Type it in and press enter. Done. We like pictures. Here's one you've seen, but let's analyze it. We have three colors of interest in our objects. It's done for your visual convenience. Let's say we want each color object to have a different color freestyle line color, like making a theme of each color or set of objects. As with visibility, only one line style can be available for a line set. But we are faced with the problem of a different object with a different line color. A solution there must be, as Yoda might say. If you haven't forgotten about the things I said a minute ago, you should know the answer already. Yes, it is group. We can assign each color objects to a group and then set it to a line set. The most basic is including or excluding a group. But this is only good when we have only two line styles on the same visibility, like both visible boxes, but we need them with different colored lines. So we group one box, then include and exclude it in the line sets. Now for three or more line styles on the same visibility, we'll use groups on all objects. For each group, we'll assign them to a line set. With that, let's edge this HVAC scene for real. Okay. First, let's create a new line set for our HVAC equipment. That's right, the magenta box. We need to name our line set. And for ease of reference, let's use the same name as the group we are going to assign it to. In the Selection By section below the line sets, click the Group button and turn it on. Great, we've uncovered another sprite. Run down to the bottom of the Freestyle Line Set panel and now you can see that group has appeared but now we need a group to give to our little friend. Let's go create one. This group should have a similar name as our line set. That way it is easy to remember. So key that in. Alternatively, we can hover over the line set name and control C, copy the name, and then hover over the group name and then press control V, paste. Grab him and assign the equipment group to the equipment line set. So we have a line set, a single group assigned to it, another sprite on our side. Now let's see what renders. It's good, but not great. We still need the other objects to show here, so we need to assign the remaining objects in our scene. We use the same line set parameters, but not the same group. So let's create a new line set, and check all the same checks, or we can do it faster by clicking this happy little button, and copy our original line set to our new one. All there is to do now is to assign the group we want in this set and rename it. Now rinse and repeat. Greatness achieved!
So now we have a pretty convincing set of lines with colors to help identify each system. Greatness. But let's have greaterness. Yeah, I made that up, so now it's a word. Let's add some nice hidden lines to our duct and equipment. This will give us an extra depth to our scene. We only need a simple line style for it. As always, there is more than one way to UV unwrap a cat mesh. Uh, yeah. So I will show you three in this case. Our flag to capture in this area is hidden lines on the duct and equipment. One way to achieve this was previously explained by using QI range values. This shows more hidden lines than we really need though. The second way to get what we want is to pick exactly which objects we want to render the hidden lines on. We select all objects and add them to a new group, which we call hidden. I've already created a hidden line style, so let's assign it and give ourselves a render. Success! Now we can better see how the two duct systems are arranged in 3D space and how they connect to the equipment. Again, as you can see, hidden lines can give us extra shape and depth to our objects, and can also help the viewer see relative sizes of the objects in focus. And now, the third way, which is a bit simpler in our case, since we only have one group created that we don't need the hidden lines on. So this time, instead of including all the groups that we do want to have the hidden lines on, let's exclude the group that we do not want to have them, which is the background or structure layer. The poor forever alone structure, no hidden lines for you. And look, it's the same result. Exactly. We can sometimes achieve the same goal using inclusive or exclusive group functions. Let's change to layer two and camera two. Before we investigate the cubes, Let's revise on face mark. Repeat is good, says the drill sergeant. There are two states of face mark, inclusive and exclusive. Inclusive means faces with face marks will render detected edges, which means faces that are not face marked will not get rendered. Face mark exclusive means that faces with face marks will not get rendered with detected edges, but those without the face mark will get rendered. The one face option will only draw or erase detected edges on the face or faces marked. Both face option will only draw or erase detected edges on the face mark except at the rim of the face or faces marked. Now back to the example. Both models are the same mesh, only seen from a different point of view. The left model. Left face is face marked with a different material, which material boundary edge type will pick up. The right face, face marked with edge mark. Top face, face marked for border edge type testing. The right model is only rotated upward with bottom faces that are not face marked. Let's try to mark with crease only. In case you forgot what crease is, here it is again. Activate face mark, inclusive on one face. Only the marked faces will render the black line. Everything outside will not get rendered. Also, observe the two short lines. These are seen from the holes. Now compare to both faces. And for that, we'll use the number two render slot. Now you can see that the outer crease lines on the face mark are gone. Nee, huh? You can compare render slot one to render slot two by pressing number one and number two. Now for exclusive, we'll use render slot one and one face. Okay, set, now render. Now we see crease lines outside the faces marked. Once again, the hole is a great way to see the crease rendered behind the left mesh. Now change to render slot two for face mark exclusive with both faces. This is rendering more crease lines because the rim of the face mark is also included in the render. Like before, you can compare render slot one and two. Let's try face mark on our favorite edge type, edge mark. Face mark inclusive on render slot one with one face option. All the edges marked in the face mark are rendered. Now change to render slot two and both faces option. And now the edge mark on the rim of the face mark is missing. Neat. Time for face mark exclusive. Back to render slot one and one face, render. Nothing, 
Yes, that's correct. We just excluded the edge mark with exclusive face mark. Let's bring back a few lines on render slot 2. Change to both faces. Cross your fingers. Don't shut your eyes. Render. Yes, they are at the rim of the face mark and both faces selected. We think you get the idea now. The rest of the edge types behave similar to crease and edge mark. You can try it on edge type material boundary. Always render on different render slots so it's easy to compare. There is one exception to this rule. Edge type border. It is special. For face mark inclusive, one face and both faces will have the same result. That means only detected border edge types on the face mark will be rendered. For face mark exclusive, one face and both faces will also have the same result. That is, the detected border edge type will not get rendered. We'll leave you to try it out, but the dire question is why? Freestyle assumes that an edge has one or two faces along it. These faces are referred to as left and right faces. Border edge has only left faces. Since the difference between one face and both face options is the number of marked faces along an edge, for border edges, the two options give the same result. By the way, a detected edge can be in the middle of a face too. Edge type silhouette, contour, external contour, suggestive contour, and ridge and valley are those. Wow, this mini boss was easy with all that pixie dust. You can include or exclude freestyle line drawings with face marks. With the one face option, all edges having at least one face marked along them will be included or excluded. In contrast, the both faces option allow you to include or exclude only those edges with faces marked on both sides of them. And remember, the edge type border is a special case. We are at the end of selection and now you are the master of selection. Congratulations!